Hi everyone, it's Michelle. Welcome back. So today I thought I would do for you a little bit of a book haul. My plan was to do sort of my favorite books of 2016 for you guys, but I'm not quite ready to do that. I feel like it's taking me a little bit longer to sort of decide what those books are, and I don't want to sort of shortchange that process for myself. So I bought a few books last week. Uh, a couple at Barnes & Noble and a few at my favorite local independent bookstore with money and gift cards that I had received for Christmas and so I thought I would share those with you um, because I think some of them will be really interesting to you and it's very easy to film a video like this and it'll get a video up for you guys to see this week from me. So let's jump in and get started. I have four books that I bought and then I want to share with you my book of the month book because I think it's going to be a really good one. So let's just jump in and get started. The first book that I want to talk about is called The Lightless, the Lightless Sky. Um, and I'm going to butcher the name because the writer is Golwali Pasarle or Pasarle. Um, the book looks like this. It's a paperback. But this is basically the story of a 12-year-old refugee who, you know, sort of took this journey across basically half the world you know, to change his life. Um, his father and his grandfather were killed by U.S. troops um, for allegedly cooperating with the Taliban. And so he ends up, you know, basically I think in a refugee camp and he steals some money and he takes his little brother, is it his little brother? Hastily packed rucksack, $200, him and his brother in the middle of the night and they take this journey to get to freedom. So you know, it's a year-long journey. This is their story, and I really, really am looking forward to the, reading this book. If you have read this, um, please let me know your thoughts. Don't give any of it away, of course, but let us know your thoughts in the comments because I'm really looking forward to reading this book. Um, yeah, I love stories like this um, where people have overcome huge obstacles, and, you know, it's great when a writer can write a book like this, but when it's someone's true story, it's even better The next my book, book I picked up is a book of short stories by Allie Smith, and I have not read a lot of Allie Smith, but certainly she is on my list of authors to read more of. And this is called um, Public Library and Other Stories. This is available in paperback as well. I'm just going to read you a quick little blurb here. The stories in Allie Smith's new collection are about what we do with books and what they do with us. How they travel with us, how they shock us, change us, challenge us, challenge, challenge us, banish time while making us older, wiser, and ageless all at once. Um, so this is a book of short stories about public libraries and things that happen in libraries. And then in between all those stories are conversations with writers and readers sort of reflecting on the role that libraries played in their lives. And I think this is going to be really interesting, especially as, you know, public libraries are becoming a little bit more and more rare um, as places to visit. And um, I love being in a library. I love when I go to a new city, I love to see what the library situation is there. And I love to visit old libraries and new libraries and that kind of thing. Um, so I think this will be really, really interesting. Um, I thought I would also talk about this book. So this is The Best American Short Stories. This is another book I picked up. I pick these up every year. Um, this one was, um, I believe, yep. So uh, I don't know how you say his name. Uh, Junot Diaz was the guest editor. Every year these books come out and they choose a different editor to... Um, you know, choose the stories that are going to be the best for that year. And so this is a bunch of short stories written by all different people about all different subjects. But they're the ones that um, Mr. Diaz considers the best of 2016. And um, I buy these every year and they're very, very good. You're not going to enjoy probably every story in there. Um, although for the most part, I love these books. If you do not, if you are sort of a, a reader of books and you don't, you've never sort of tried to read collections of short stories, I think you should try. This is a great way to experience different authors and you know you may find an author that you haven't read before and you like their writing style and then you can choose one of their novels. Um, so I think that I think it's gonna be great. Uh, again, I buy these every year. Um, I usually buy the British version as well. I haven't seen that yet, but this is the what the best American short stories. They also do 
um, one, a British one, and there may be ones in other countries. I don't know if you can see. Hmm. Molly is playing right here, my our newest addition. Um, she's not new, she's been around since April, but so she's making noise. Maybe she will eventually take Murphy's place of laying back here with me now that she's gotten a little bit older and she's calming down a little bit. Um, let me see if there's any interesting authors. Sorry, in here. <laughs> I'm very sneezy. Um, so Lauren Groff is in here, Karen Russell is in here, uh, Chimamanda Ngoji Adichie is in here. So a lot of really talented writers in here. And I love to read, like I said, short stories. Also, if you are not someone who reads a lot, and you're looking for a way to sort of get back into it, short stories are sometimes a great way to do that because you're, you don't necessarily have to invest all the time in reading a full novel. You can work your way through these short stories a little bit at a time and still enjoy them very, very much. So highly recommend these books. They do it for poetry too and um, what else? Essays and travel writing. And a lot of times I will pick up those books as well when I'm looking for something interesting to read. So this is definitely on my to be read list. Um, and the last book I purchased on my book shopping spree is uh, a book by, it was edited by Bethany Patrick and it is called The Books That Changed My Life. Again, I was on a kick about books about books. So this is Reflections by 100 Authors, Actors, Musicians, and Other Remarkable People who talk about how books or authors influenced their lives or, you know, which book it was that, you know, sort of changed who they were and that kind of thing. Um, Liza Donnelly writes a story in here about A Room of One's Own by Virginia Woolf and what that did for her. Um, you know, there's uh, someone talks about James Joyce and his book Ulysses, Dune by Frank Herbert. The other thing these types of books are good for, again, if you haven't read in a long time or you want to read more and you just haven't done it, sometimes books like this, reading books like this can inspire you or introduce you to authors or books that, you know, maybe you've heard of but you don't know what the story is. And when someone talks about how that story changed them, it may, you know, drive you to want to read that or read a little bit more. So I'm very much looking forward to reading this as well. So those were the books I bought. Um, I've talked about before that I am, I participate in the Book of the Month Club, which is a great, um, I'm not affiliate with them or anything like that. I'm just going to talk about it. It is a subscription book service. Every month you get to choose a book. There's usually five books to choose from. They're chosen by, there's four people who, four editors who choose the books. And then there, every month there's a guest editor who also chooses a book. And you get to choose from those five books. And I think the book is 10 or $14, and it's a hardcover book, and they're all usually typically new books. So you get a little blurb about each one, and if you're interested in having the book that month, you select the book, and they send it to you. The great thing about Book of the Month is if there isn't a book there you're interested in, you can say, I'm, I want to skip this month, and it's fine. You skip that month. The other thing is if there's more than one book that you're interested in, you can buy the additional books as well for $9.99, which is a great deal on a hardback book as well. Um, the one I chose for this month is Lillian Boxfish Takes a Walk by Kathleen Rooney. Love the cover, love the cover. Um, and I love the premise of this book. So she took 1930s New York by storm, working her way up writing copy for R.H. Macy's to become the highest paid advertising woman in the country. It was a job that she says, in some ways saved my life and in other ways ruined it. Now it's the last night of 1984 and Lillian, 85 years old, but just as sharp and savvy as ever, is on her way to a party. It's chilly enough for her mink coat and Manhattan is grittier now. Her son keeps warning, about, warning her about the subway vigilante on the prowl, but the quick-tongued poetess has never been one to scare easily. On a walk that takes her more than 10 miles around the city, she meets bartenders, bodega clerks, security guards, criminals, children, parents, and parents-to-be, while reviewing a life of excitement and adversity, passion and heartbreak, illuminating all the ways New York has changed and has not. So they say this is a love letter to city life. Um, and You know, it's sort of her portrait. It talks about all the things that happened between the 30s and the 80s in New York and how this older woman experienced them. So I'm very, very much looking forward to reading this book as well. Um, yeah, so this was my January selection for Book of the Month Club. Um, 
if you guys have read this book, let me know what you thought about it. Or, you know, I, or if you participate in Book of the Month Club, let me know. I love this because it, 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 you know, suggests five books for you to choose from that, you know, you might not see in a bookstore or you might not have thought about reading and they give you a little description of the book and then the person who chose the book to be part of the book of the month club tells you why they kind of why they think you should read it so I love I'm very much looking forward to this and I very much enjoy book of the month club and there's been several months where I just have felt like I had enough books or I didn't wasn't like hugely interested in anything that was on the list and I just skip it that month which makes it really really easy one of the things they did this month for January is include a little um, gift for starting off the new year. Um, a special gift from Book of the Month. I can tell that this is a book I have already read. It is called The Grown Up by Gillian Flynn, who wrote Gone Girl, among other places. Among other things, she wrote like Dark Places and that kind of thing. I have read this book, so I thought I would uh, give you guys the opportunity to win this. So. I'm going to give this away to one of you. Um, go ahead and put in the comments. Let's see what question do I want you to answer to enter the giveaway. Um, and I will also ship this wherever you are, I guess. I think I can pretty much ship books anywhere. I don't think there's any country that makes it difficult for me to ship a book to. So I will open this worldwide. I will ship this to you. It's a very brief book written by Gillian Flynn. It's a short story, but I loved it. Um, they describe it as little book with big twists and I would um, I would say that's a very good description it says don't let the f size fool you the tale contains as many twists as any story by Gillian Flynn so um, I'm gonna give this away to one of you tell me to enter the giveaway in the comments tell me what your favorite book of 2016 was and if you didn't read in 2016 tell me um, what book you look most forward to reading in 2017 and then um, in let's see what's today today's around the 7th we will go let's say on the 15th of the month I will take all of the comments and randomly select a winner and I will notify you via YouTube the message system in YouTube so be sure to watch that around the 15th of the month um, that is it for today I hope you enjoyed seeing the books um, that I purchased Again, I am working on what I think the best books of 2016 were that I read, which isn't all books, obviously. And I am also working on my beauty favorites for 2016. So those are coming up as well. That is it for today. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And I will talk to you all again soon.